Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Glad you can make it with me again today. Uh, coming up on the show, police are saying that Jake Sullivan picked the wrong name for his fake ID. That's in our brain on drugs. Uh, ladies, you better think twice before sending your man to the grocery store. I'll tell you why. Sending gifts to your clients. That's a great idea. Just so long as that gift isn't a moment of duh. We've got Question Impossible coming up. Also, could being in good financial shape mean that you're in better physical shape as well? We'll talk about that. More than 50 bikers show up at a middle school, and you will not believe why. Also, if you're feeling cranky, well, I got some news to cheer you up, and I'll uh, have that for you coming up here in just a bit. I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Uh, we'll start today with uh, with this story. If you enjoy golf, well, this might be of interest to you. The people in charge of the rules of golf they made some sweeping changes to the game recently, hoping to make it more appealing to the masses. Now, among these changes, you can now leave the flag in the hole when you putt. You can legally pull your ball out of the sand and take a penalty stroke. And the time allowed to search for a missing ball has been cut from five minutes to three. And also, instead of yelling four, you are now allowed to yell, INCOMING! What, what, what the devil is that? Golf Lindo The Darren Marlar Radio Show! The more I resist, the more intriguing they become. You must be the Darren Marlar. Hey, are you feeling cranky? Well, I got some news to uh, cheer you up, hopefully. Being grouchy, it boosts your brain. Scientists in Australia have found that ill-tempered folks tend to concentrate more on what's going on around them, and they're more questioning of others, giving them better memories and sharper minds. In comparison, happy people are more likely to take mental shortcuts and be gullible, resulting in less brain power. So to sum that up, uh, Rosie O'Donnell could be in Mensa and I'm not. What kind of idiot are you? I don't know. What kinds are there? Taking a look at today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today's Wednesday, August 9th, 2017. You now have 137 shopping days until Christmas. Pretty short list today, actually. Uh, today is National Hand-Holding Day, which is really tough to do when you're here trying to push buttons to play commercials and songs on the radio. And it's National Rice Pudding Day. Uh, okay, you know what? Forget holding hands. Uh, if you want to force me to eat rice pudding, you'll be holding my nose. Ugh, what does that taste like? More than 50 bikers. They showed up at a middle school recently, but you will not believe why. I have that story for you coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and uh, for a few laughs after the show, you might want to check out my daily dose of weird news. I post a new episode every weekday. And hopefully, if nothing else, it'll bring a smile to your day, but hopefully a few laughs, too. You can find that at DarrenMarler.com. Well, Christy Gall, she pulled up Facebook on her computer recently to post a desperate plea. Please get tested to see if you're a match to be able to donate one of your kidneys to my eight-year-old son. A police officer, Lindsay Bittorf, saw that post, and she did just that. And Bittorf got some good news. She was a near-perfect match for Jackson. Lindsay told the eight-year-old boy, I took an oath to serve and protect my community, and now my kidney will serve and protect you. If you want to read the entire story and uh, get a big smile on your face, well, you can uh, watch the video of that story in my blog right now, which you can find at DarrenMarler.com. Today's Question Impossible. The coins that we call nickels are made primarily of what metal? Again, question impossible today. What coins that we call nickels are made, what are they made primarily of? What metal? I'll have the answer to that coming up a little bit later on in the show. Hey there, I'm Darren Marlar. I love this story. Uh, a group of more than 50 motorcyclists, bikers in northeastern Indiana, well, they stepped up recently to save the day and help a sixth grade kid feel safe from bullying. Tammy Mick is the mom of DeKalb Middle School student Phil Mick and says that her son was being bullied so badly at school he'd even contemplated suicide. Well, rather than go to the police, she spoke with Brent Warfield of KDZ Motorcycle Sales and Service, who immediately wanted to help. Now, Warfield, not only is he the director of Unis at, uh, Uni United Motorcycle Enthusiasts, but he himself has been hosting charity rides uh, to raise awareness about bullying and teen suicide. 
so he decided to organize a special ride just for Phil on his first day of middle school. He posted the information on Facebook just a few days beforehand and he got an incredible response. More than 50 bikers met with Phil and his family for breakfast before his first day of school. They prayed with Phil even before they escorted him to, uh, to the school. Warfield said the school was very welcome to the idea and Phil was very excited about a fresh new start. Imagine being a, a middle schooler showing up to your first day of school with 50 bikers with you. <laughs> Nobody's going to mess with you the rest of the school year. Uh, if you want to watch a video about that from Fox News, uh, I did uh, post it in my blog. You can find that right now at DarrenMarler.com. Great stuff. Uh, by, by the way, uh, uh, if you want to be a part of the show, I'd love to get an email from you. Just drop a, an email uh, to me through the website at DarrenMarler.com. Well, could being in good financial shape mean that you are in better physical shape as well? Well, back in the 1990s, the federal government they tried an unusual social experiment. It offered thousands of poor women a big city public housing chance uh, to live in more affluent neighborhoods. A decade later, the women who relocated they had lower rates of diabetes and extreme obesity. Differences that are being hailed as compelling evidence that when you live, that where you live, that is, can determine your health. Meaning, if you live next to a Cheetos factory, you're in big trouble. I want to hear it. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. It would make me happy. A study published recently reveals that researchers at a facility in San Diego once had a whale there that could imitate human speech. In fact, the whale kept saying over and over, does this aquarium make me look fat? Taking a look at today's birthday wrap-up, actress Gillian Anderson from The X-Files is 49 today, and from Working Girl Shining Through, Melody Griffith is 60. And from Roadhouse, Ghost Rider, The Big Lebowski, actor Sam Elliott is 73. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to keep up with everything that I do, you can sign up for my newsletter, The Marlar Sheet. It's absolutely free, and you can sign up for it at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, Sam Klein and Tommy Fellow, they had never met, but together they granted a dying woman her last wish. Emily Pomeranz. She was battling pancreatic cancer, and she had to be moved to hospice. Well, her dear friend Klein came to visit her and asked if he could get her anything, anything to make her comfortable in this impossible situation that she was in. Well, Pomeranz smiled and told Klein that she wished she could have just one more Tommy's Mocha milkshake. Well, the problem was that Tommy's restaurant was 375 miles away, and the milkshake would somehow have to stay frozen. So he reached out to the restaurant online, seeing if maybe something could be coordinated. And to his surprise, the owner of the restaurant, Mr. Tommy Fellow himself, wrote back. Well, Fellow shipped a carefully packed mocha shake overnight to Klein. Klein picked it up and took it to Pomeranz. And if you would like to see Pomeranz's face upon get, uh, getting the shake, you can see it right now. I've posted it in my blog at DarrenMarler.com. Totally worth the time to check it out. I was smiling for, uh, for a half hour after reading this story. DarrenMarler.com, just click on the blog. Today's question impossible again. The uh, question, the coins that we call nickels are made primarily of what metal? Well, the answer is not nickel. No, actually, they're made of copper. Nickels are composed of 75% copper, only 25% nickel. L'Oreal is predicting that very soon there will be male cosmetic counters popping up in stores. All right, that's it. You know what? I am starting a GoFundMe campaign to raise enough money to buy an island so I can get away from these creeps. Donors to the campaign, you get to come with me. Identify yourself. You are listening to... Here's a deal. It's about time. Is everyone ready? 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 The master of ceremony. Darren Marlar Radio Show. Listen. Crank up the radio. Sending gifts to your client is a great idea, just so long as the gift isn't a big moment of duh. That story... 
coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and well, you can forget the fancy diets. A recent study says that if you want to lose weight, just eat lots of tomatoes. The juicy fruit is thought to be rich in compounds that take away hunger pangs and suppress the urge to snack, which is one of the biggest battles for slimmers. British researchers believe that the magical ingredient that suppresses the appetite is the pigment lycopene, which gives tomatoes their red color. Well, okay, well then, pizza sauce. I mean, that has a lot of tomatoes in it, right? I should be dropping the pounds already. Hello, I would like to order 19 large pizzas and 67 cans of soda. And where would you like them delivered? To the Southwood Psychiatric Hospital. To the Psychiatric Hospital? That's right. Uh, I'm an FBI agent. You're an FBI agent? That's correct. Just about everybody here is. You're, you're an FBI agent? That's correct. And you're at the Psychiatric Hospital? That's right. And make sure you don't go through the front doors. We have them locked. You'll have to go around to the back to the service entrance to deliver the pizzas. And you say you're all FBI agents? That's right. Uh, how soon can you have them here? You're over at Southwood? That's right. How soon can you have them here? And everyone at Southwood is an FBI agent. That's right. We've been here all day and we're starving. Um, how are you going to pay for this? I have my checkbook right here. And you're all FBI agents? That's right. Everyone here is an FBI agent. Can you remember to bring the pizzas and sodas to the service entrance in the rear? We have the front doors locked. <laughs> I don't think so. Walt Disney Studios is developing a reboot of the 1991 action-adventure movie The Rocketeer. The project, in the early development stages, is considered a sequel-slash-reboot, and it's a modern-day twist that will be headlined by a black female character. Yes, because the gender swap idea was so successful in Ghostbusters. Let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning's sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> that's a big Twinkie. Sending gifts to your clients, well, that's a pretty good idea. Just so long as it's not a moment of duh. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. Time for today's Moment of Duh. Europe's largest internet-based recruitment agency, Stepstone. They thought it would be a great idea to mail gifts to 8,000 of its clients, so they sent out clocks. Ticking clocks. Well, many of their clients, afraid that they were being sent bombs, contacted the police, who had to evacuate buildings and call out the bomb squad. Furious police from several police forces phoned Stepstone to let them know that they were not pleased with all of these false alarms. The company apologized, but still believed that it was a good marketing move. Duh. Hey, if you like to get social with me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Anchor FM, Minds.com, LinkedIn, Instagram. I got links to all of them at my website, which is DarrenMarler.com. Well, ladies, you'd better think twice before sending your man to the grocery store. Why? Well, men tend to be overwhelmed by the number of choices. New research shows that men, they don't grocery shop as efficiently as women, and we rarely ask for help if we can't find something. It may not be our fault, though, because grocery stores, they're designed for women and the way that women shop. The top three problems we men face in a grocery store, one, we have difficulty finding stuff. Two, if something is on the list and it's not available, well, we're not all that adept at finding a substitute, so we'll end up coming home empty. Three, we don't like asking for help. We'll hesitate doing that. So for the love of all that's good and holy, please, never ask us to go shopping for you. Ever. Ladies and gentlemen, this little baby is the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Need a daily dose of weird news? <laughs> Follow Darren on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Darren Marlar. I've lost my appetite. Hey, do you have August 21st on your calendar for that solar eclipse? Well, if you're wondering where the upcoming eclipse can be seen in America, NASA has the answer. They've created a video which shows the most detailed map yet of the path of totality. For the video, NASA visualizer Ernie Wright, he traced the path for, uh, for the August 21st eclipse which, uh, by the way, can only be seen in America. Nobody else in the world is going to see it, uh, just us. And he said that he used various data sets to help him visualize the color of the ground, the lighting of the sun, and the position of the eclipse. 
Well, if you want to watch the video and find out where the solar eclipse is going to be for you, you can find that in my blog right now at DarrenMarler.com. Well, according to a new study, uh, cats they may have more potential than dogs to sniff out bombs. Which may be true, but I'm guessing they just won't care enough to do it. Let's get started. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Who are you? You're you, and if you're you, that makes me... Darren Marlar. <laughs> who's guarding the president? Police are saying that Jake Sullivan picked the wrong name for his fake ID. Our Brain on Drug story is coming up. I'm Darren Marlar. If you've missed any part of the show, well, you can find it at DarrenMarlar.com. A new survey says young Instagrammers, they use the app 32 minutes a day. 32 minutes a day snapping selfies. Well, I, I guess future generations won't have any problem finding documentary evidence for why society collapsed. Are you in need of a little inspiration? Well, here's an idea. Lie on your back. Yep, Darren Lipnicki from the School of Psychology at the Australian National University. He found that people solve anagrams twice as fast when they were on their backs rather than on their feet. He says it suggests that lying down may also help your creative thinking process. Uh, technically, it may have something to do with the brain chemical uh, noradrenaline, and while the chemical is associated with cognitive ability and attention, it's also believed to impair creative thinking and less of it is released when you're lying down. So go ahead, lie down on the floor during your next board meeting, and then tell your boss you're trying to brainstorm. You know, for the good of the company. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. In Tucson, Arizona, Little Caesars Pizza is experimenting with a pizza vending machine called a Pizza Portal. You would, add, you would actually walk into their store, pick out a pizza, and then have it served up by the machine, never talking with a human during the entire process. It's a pizza created by the caring, loving hands of a Terminator. Give me liberty or give me pizza pie. If you've missed any of my shows, well, you can catch up with them on my free mobile app. Just search for Marler House. It's available for your uh, for your uh, Android or iOS device. Uh, just look for Marler House in your phone app store. M-A-R-L-A-R House. It's time for our Brain on Drug story, and it's about people doing dumb things when under the influence. But addiction is no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know needs help with their addiction, there is a toll-free number that you can call. It's 1-800-438-0380. That is the Addiction Hope and Helpline. 1-800-438-0380. And today's story? Well, police charge Jake Sullivan. He picked the wrong name for his fake ID. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> the 17-year-old student from Dover, New Hampshire, he was busted recently. Police say the St. Thomas Aquinas High School student was trying to buy beer with phony identification that just happened to have the name of his high school principal. Sullivan's now charged with misrepresenting his age, drunken driving, and transportation of drugs. And I'm guessing also eight days of after-school banging of erasers. <laughs> This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? Author and speaker Lisa Harper. She has made a career out of bringing hope to women, many of whom are mothers. But Harper, a victim of childhood sexual abuse, she says when it uh, came to becoming a mom herself, well, she felt hopeless. After finding herself single and in her 40s, the Tennessee woman, she felt the desire to become a mother and began considering adoption. Well, at 50 years old, after two failed adoptions, Lisa Harper adopted a girl that nobody wanted. A girl from Haiti with HIV, cholera, and probably TB. Well, today, that little girl, Missy, is thriving. She's a healthy 8-year-old. Her, her HIV is not detectable at all in her blood anymore. Uh, Missy has no scarring on her lungs from her bout with tuberculosis nor does she have her any liver damage from having cholera. Missy's doctors tell Harper her daughter's health is a miracle. I love it when a story uh, shows that God uh, is real, that he exists. And if you want to re uh, read this story, uh, you can find a link to it in my blog at DarrenMarler.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. The Darren Marler Radio Show. Every day that you breathe, you make my life harder. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are you?
you a twit face. Send Darren a message through Facebook, Twitter, or his website at DarrenMarlar.com. Yeah, it's kind of nice to sometimes actually see a story about the police that's not negative. But check this one out. Four Dallas police officers who responded to a noise complaint last Saturday night, they ended up dancing at the wedding that was causing the noise. In a video shared on social media, the officers can be seen dancing with bridesmaids, the bride, and other attendants. Plus, the bride got her something blue. There you go. It worked out. It's the most exciting new cop show on TV, taken from actual, real-life police files. Don't miss the all-new False Alarm. Open up, please. Yeah. Uh, we have a report of a domestic dispute at this address, ma'am. Oh, yeah. We made up. Oh, sorry to bother you. The action is real. The stories are all true on False Alarm. All right, put your hands on the hood and spread them. Come on. What's going on here? I, I, I didn't do anything. I mean, I, I was just walking my dog here. I mean, I live right there. That's my house right there. Oh, uh, sorry. Have a nice day. Don't miss the most realistic cop show on TV. False Alarm. It's so real you won't believe your eyes. Well, it looks like we got you this time, punk. This is enough cocaine here to put you away for 10 years. Uh, Bob, this isn't coke. It's sugar. Really? <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for joining me today on the show. I appreciate it. And I'm going to leave you today with this thought. The trouble with bucket seats is not everybody has the same size bucket. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.